Sa ibig sabihin kasi, kapag meron kayong BE sometimes, hindi nyo pwedeng may apply yung mga methods so far na nalaliskas na natin. Meron muna kayang gagawing substitution bago nyo ma-apply yung mga methods na nalaliskas natin. Sa so, mag introduce kayo ng another variable. So again, wala tayong fixed ano doon, steps. So kayo talaga bahala mag-isip ng substitution nyo. So ibabasa nyo doon sa equation. Kaya nga, substitution as suggested by equation. So, example dito. Sige. So, x plus 2y minus 1 times dx plus 3 times x plus 2y dy equal 0. Okay? So, sabi, substitution suggested by equation. Ano kaya pwede nating i-substitute? Mag-introduce tayo, big sabihin dito, ng another variable. Let's say, let, anong maganda? Let, kahit ano naman, let's say V. Okay, V. Ilet V ko, mapapansin nyo sa equation, meron tayong naulit na term na x plus 2y. So, try ko, ilet V yan. So, V is equal to x plus 2y. Ngayon, I-differentiate nyo both sides. So, derivative ng V, dV. Tapos yung right, derivative term by term, derivative ng X is 1, tapos talagay nyo ng dx. So, 1 times differential dx. Plus, derivative ng 2y is 2, times 1, derivative ng y is 1, then lagay nyo ng differential dy. So, dV is... 1 times dx is dx plus 2 times 1 times dy, 2 dy. Okay? So, ngayon, papalitan natin. Ano itong x plus 2y? V na lang, di ba? Minus 1. Tapos, pipili kayo ngayon kung yung isasolve nyo yung dx or dy in terms of the other the, uh, differential. So, di ba ito yung uh, form natin equation for the differentials? dv is equal to dx plus 2 dy. So, sige, gusto ko is isolve ko itong dx. Isasolve ko si dx, so sa right, i-retain ko siya, tapos itatranspose ko itong 2 dy sa left, so magiging dv is equal to 2 dy. So, papalitan nyo ngayon itong dx in terms of this whole expression. Kasi, Meron tayong i-multiply na dx dito, right? So gagawin ko in, in terms of dx ito na lang, yung dv minus 2dy plus 3 copy. Ano yung x plus 2y uli? v times dy. So dy i-retain nyo. Magiging uh, in terms of two variables kayo na bago, y and v. Right? y and v. So, anong pwedeng gawin? Sige, distribute natin itong V minus 1. Quantity. Dito sa DV minus 2 DY. V minus 1. DV minus 2 times V minus 1. DY. Plus 3V. DY equal 0. So, combine natin yung may parehong DY. If a factor out ko lang yung di differential dy. So v minus 1 dv tapos unahin ko itong 3v plus 3v tapos itong negative 2 of v minus 1 quantity times dy. Simplify niyo lang ito. v minus 1 dv plus 3V negative 2 distribute sa V minus 1 negative 2V plus 2 dy equal 0 so V minus 1 times dv plus 3V minus 2V V plus 2 dy equal 0 so anong d ito? separable diba? Pwede nyo i-separate yung variable by 
multiplying both sides by what? So, ayaw natin ng v variable sa dy, eliminate natin itong v plus 2 by multiplying both sides by 1 over v plus 2. Okay, so distribute dito sa ano, sa first term. So, v, v minus 1 dv times 1 over v plus 2 is v minus 1 over v plus 2 dv. Plus, multiply din dito. So, cancel na nga itong v plus 2. dy na lang. Equal, multiply yung 1 over v plus 2 sa right. Zero pa rin yan, di ba? So, dahil sa parabol, pwede nyo nang i-integrate both sides. So, paano integrate itong v minus 1 over v plus 2 dv? So, pwede nyo nalang i-divide by long division kasi improper rational algebraic expression ito, pareho yung power or degree ng numerator at denominator. Parehong nakari sa 1. So, by long division, divide nyo. V minus 1 divided by V plus 2. So, V divided by V, 1. Multiply nyo yung 1 sa whole expression na V plus 2. 1 times V plus 2 is V plus 2. Sulat nyo under V minus 1. So, V minus 1 tapos ima minus nyo sa V plus 2. So, V minus V, 0, cancel. Negative 1, minus 2, positive 2, negative 3. So, paano i re ito? Yung whole number na 1, yung quotient, plus yung remainder na negative 3, over yung denominator, same denominator na V plus 2. Okay, so i-write -ri ko na itong v minus 1 over v plus 2 as this form. So magiging, sige, integral ng, copy ko, 1, so plus tapos negative 3, gawin ko na lang minus 3 over v plus 2 times dv. So integrate nyo term by term, distribute the integral, tsaka itong dv, so, integral ng 1 times dv, integral ng dv, minus integral ng 3 over v plus 2 dv. Yung 3, constant, gigilid ko, integral ng dv over v plus 2. So, ito, integrable. Ano integral ng dv? v minus 3, copy. Ano integral nito? Maglalet nyo kayo dyan. Let u be equal dito sa whole denominator para magka ln kaya dito. Get the derivative du is equal to derivative ng v plus 2 is 1 plus 0 then dv or simply du is equal to dv. So magiging integral na to ng ano si dv? du. To, du. Over, ano si, ano, V plus 2, U. Integral ng D over U, ln U, right? Tapos, ibalik nyo yung U in terms of V na V plus 2. Sa so, magiging ln of V plus 2. Okay, yun, ngayon yun yung multiply nyo sa negative 3. Kasi negative 3 integral nito, right? Integral ng DV over V plus 2 is ln V plus 2. So, V minus 3, ln of V plus 2. Tapos, yung second integral is integral lang ng dy. Madali lang yung integrate, equal lang yan sa y, right? So, plus y, and then yung right side, integral ng 0, gawin nyo lang constant of integration as c. So, equal to c. Okay, tapos, ibalik nyo lang yung V in terms of the original substitution. Kanina, ano si V? X plus 2Y. 
Sa papalitan ko lahat ng V ng x plus 2y, itong V gagawin kong x plus 2y minus 3 ln of V gagawin ko rin x plus 2y plus 2 plus y equal to c. Combine similar terms. x so 2y plus y 3y minus 3 ln of x plus 2y plus 2 equal to constant c. So, yeah, pwede na tong final answer na to. Okay, so, nasolve na natin yung DE.